was you. Yeah, it's me. What are you doing hanging around outside? Nothing. Nothing really, just... I was going to buy a card and give it to Katie. I thought that if I wrote just a little card and give it to Brian, he'd forward it on for me. Because I know that he won't give me the address. So why didn't you? It's no good. There's no point in even trying. He said no contact and he meant no contact. But he might change his mind. No, he won't. You don't know until you try. You should go and see him. I do know. If anything, he's got worse. All he'll do is shout at me. It's too late. I never sort things out with an owl. I'll probably never see her again. Andy. Andy! I need to check there's going to be at least a bit of progress on the house to show Edith, cos she's coming round today. Have you read about this millionaire lorry driver? Oh, yeah. Hey, I'll tell you what. If that had been me, I wouldn't still be behind the wheel. Zach! Huh? Zach! Huh? I'm sorry, Zach. I just... I need a bit of reassurance because... Yeah. Because I, I know she, she's looking forward to seeing things, you know, moving on, changing, developing. What's he banging on about? Hmm? No idea. Come on, lad. We better get started, eh? Yeah. <sighs> oh, uh, hey, by the way, Marlon, you want to get that old lady to come round soon to have a look at her house? It's really coming on. You were having your breakfast. Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, shut the door, please. Have a seat. I've um, come to talk about this appeal today. She's pinning everything on it. I know. She thinks they're going to say they've made a mistake and send her home with an apology. I wanted you to know that I've agreed to be her advocate, to help her to put her case. But you don't think that she should leave, do you? No. No, not really. Not really? Look, it's going to happen anyway. Someone has to speak for her. She's entitled to have a friend there, isn't she? To have some support. Would you rather she did it without? No, but you're arguing for something that you don't really think should happen. Yeah, I know, but... What are you going to do? Do it badly? No! I know it sounds ludicrous. Look, look, look. I'm not sure that Zoe coming out is a good idea, but it's what she's desperate to do, and I'm her friend. So I will argue for it the best I can, and presumably, if it's not the right thing, they won't allow it anyway. And if they do, if you convince them and they send her home... Then we'll have to take that as an encouraging sign that their assessment is more hopeful than ours. And we'll have to take responsibility for our, ourselves, won't we? Do you like it, then? It's the colour all right? Yeah. Um, makes a nice change. Well, I thought you needed brightening up a bit. Well, Lucy did. You know, style queen and all. It's great. Good. I'm glad you like it. And now the mad dash to the bus stop. You sure you don't want to lift? No, no. You sit still. It's your birthday. Bye, Mum. See you later. <laughs> you don't like it, do you? Well... I'll change it quietly next week. It's a great book, though. Even though we don't have a garden. Oh, one day. Ah, and that's for the CD. Well, just what I was looking for. Nothing from Jess, I notice. Oh, I don't know. There's something at the post office came yesterday while we were out. Well, if it is from her, I don't see why she couldn't deliver it in person. Yes, you do. Come on, let's not go there, eh? Birthday, remember? Fancy a birthday drink at lunchtime? OK. I've missed it. Good. Spend the day with me. Yeah, but I haven't. Robert? What? Well, like, hello, maybe, before you stick your tongue down my throat. You're my girlfriend. Doesn't mean you have to treat me like a lumber door in front of my friends. Oh, get back in the fridge. What was all that about? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Do you know, I was actually pleased to see him. Sorry. It's not your fault, is it? We'll have forgotten about it by tonight. Yeah, maybe. And maybe I won't have. At least you've got her tonight. I don't even know where Katie is. I told you. She do what you said. Buy her a card and then get him to forward it on or tell you her address. He's the only one who knows it. You don't know what he's like. Well, I don't see what else you can do, do you? You got any ideas, Lucy? No. All right, then. I'll, I'll get her a card. And I'll give it to her dad while he's at work. At least there he's got less chance of beating me up. Zoe? 
How are you today? This report. It's all wrong. Is it uh, your medical report? Dr. Matthews put his name to this. How could he? My own GP. You feel it's unfair? They say I'm suffering from a psychosis. They don't say what No, they... no, no. There is no diagnosis. Just that it's, it's of a degree which warrants my detention in hospital for assessment. Well, I suppose... They say it's for my own safety. Zoe, please, please, come on, calm down. Let me read it. Am I going a bit over the top? I am, aren't I? It's just... <laughs> it's not true. Let me read it. If I'm going to speak up for you, I need to know what it says. I've got this. Like a spasm? It's the drugs. Don't worry. I just don't want them to see me like this. They'll know it's the drugs. It just doesn't make me feel very confident, that's all. No. No, I can understand that. Come on. We'll read your report, talk about it, and work out what we're going to say. OK. Here you are. Thank you. Anything interesting? Oh, it's uh, from Jess, birthday present. Is it your birthday today? Yeah. Many happy returns. Cheers. I'll have to buy you a drink. Well, um... We can go for one now, if you like. Actually, I'm meeting Maggie there in half an hour. It doesn't mean I can't get you one before that, does it? No. No, of course not. Aren't you going to open it? Oh, it's all right, Viv. Uh, I'll open it in the pub. See ya. See ya. Bye. around? No, love. Uh, he did say something about coming over at some point, though. Oh. Well, maybe I'll try again on my way back. Huh? Well, uh, don't you want to wait? Uh, no, it's all right. I I've got an appointment. Well, I can make you a brew. No, really, I... Leave her look, okay, then. Well, that's as just said, she's got an appointment. Yeah, but she don't know what good company I am. Oh, I can imagine. But I've already got some great company in the car. Eh? Yeah? A couple of gerbils on the front seat. See ya. <laughs> oh, if in case I uh, miss Marlon, could you uh, tell him I'm looking for him? Yeah, of course, love, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that put you in your place, eh? <laughs> First Marlon, then the gerbils, then you. <laughs> Don't know what she sees in that streak of bacon. Sense of humour, maybe. And the gerbils are probably better looking. <laughs> yeah. There you are. It's a wallet. Nice one. Real leather. Oh, there's a photo of me and Jess inside. Look oh. at that. She would pick that one. Right pair of knits. <laughs> oh. oh, thoughtful, though, to put that in. We had such a good time that night. Oh, look. There's a card. All right. Dear Dad, well, you can't forget me now, can you? Happy birthday, love, Jess. <laughs> As if. Must be hard for her. Is that from Nicola? No, it's all right, Maggie. I didn't even know. It's from Jess. The parcel was her. Good. I don't want another drink. It's OK. I'm going. Anyway. Mm. Have a lovely day. She just felt she had to post a present. I'd have liked to have seen her. Shame she felt she couldn't even visit her own father on his birthday. Here you are. Zoe Tate. Take a seat. Yes, have a seat, Zoe. Reverend Thomas. Thank you. Right. I'll explain exactly what's going to happen in a moment, but first let me introduce everyone to Zoe, Zoe Tate, whose appeal this is, and then we can begin. Mr. Ready, man. I wanted to talk to you. It's about Katie. Surprise me. I want to know she is. She's all right. I need... I know a lot of things can go wrong when you... She's as well as can be expected in the circumstances. Physically. So she's miserable. What do you expect? I worry about her all the time. I, I think about her all the time as well. Wondering how she's feeling. 
And I miss her. Tell me about it. I am sorry if I've messed things up. I love her and I do want the baby. Will you tell her? No. No? Will you let me write to her then? No. Not even if she's posted it on for me? No way. Okay. I thought you saw that. I am glad she's all right. And if you were to be taken off the section, would you be willing to come to the hospital voluntarily for assessment, do you think? Yes. But I don't think I'm as ill as my report implies. It says in your report that you refused to take your medication when you first arrived. Yes, but I'm taking it now. And what do you think of it? Is it helping? Say. Yes? Your medication, Zoe. Is it helping? I don't like it. Again, if you were to be taken off the section, where would you be living? At home. Could you manage at home, do you think? That's where Zoe's excellent support system comes in, really. She's a brother who lives very close by and a sister-in-law. It's an alternative home, really. Do they have children? Yes, one boy. And I live very close as well, so I could support Zoe if she came home. We've known each other for years and we get on very well, don't we, Zoe? The meeting went well with the new managers this morning. Oh, good. Still a bit worried about the interview, though. Well, bound to be. Why don't you go and see her? Mm, Jess. You see, that's how much I mind you have in contact with her. Well. It would be nice. That's it then. Settled. Extra birthday present. When do you want to go? Um, tomorrow. Fine. Give me a chance to focus on my interview as well. Great. Um, I'll get us another drink. You look a bit subdued. Andy came to see me at work. Couldn't settle after. Oh, what did he have to say for himself? He wanted to know about Katie. I think he wanted to write to her, really. Told me he still loved her. I surprised myself. Did you give him her address? No, but I did feel sorry for him. I didn't let it show. Honestly, though, it could have been me talking. Me and Andy have actually got more in common with each other than with almost anybody else in this village, except you, because we both miss Katie. Except me? Well, you miss your daughter the same, don't you? I keep busy. You do, though. I know you do. Yes, I do. Still. I'll lay you a five or Katie will be home before long. Andy's a good lad, you know. I've met quite a few in my time and I'd put money on that one. Yeah, well, I don't want to hear that, really. I'd rather talk about you. Yeah, it sounds like a chatter, but no. It's all right, I know you've spoken for. Spoken for? Makes me sound like a table at an auction. Hey, don't mock, because if you weren't, I'd be in like a shot. I'm very flattered. But like you say, I'm spoken for. If this appeal is successful, I'll be responsible for Zoe's safety and well-being. And I'll be all right anyway. I'm all right. Thank you, both of you. Thank you, everyone. Well, I think that's about covered everything. So if you'd care to go back to your ward, Zoe, we'll call you back in about a, an hour or so and tell you our decision. Time for a coffee.
You're sorry to drag you away. You are? From the limpet. He was only talking about his daughter. Oh, and the rest. You gave me a hard time, right, for doing an honest day's graft at the local copper's house, and you're in here doing pretend work behind a bar. Pretend work, you cheeky son. It's a bar, isn't it? And I'm this side of it. You're getting chatted up by scores of men. Scores of them. I can hardly fit them all in some nights. It's looking better already. Is it? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Even just having the door painted. Oh. Ah. Oh. Huh? Your girlfriend's here again? Rona is not my girlfriend. It's all right. No one's going to tell Trisha. Tell her what? Exactly. There's no to tell, is there? Hi, Mona, I'm glad I caught you. Hi, Rona. Only Hi. I found this article. It's just what we were talking about yesterday, see? That's the sort of thing I mean. Uh -huh. Who is this, Marlon? Uh, Edith, this is a friend of mine, Rona. Rona, this is Mrs. Weatherall. How do you do? You've never mentioned Rona before, Marlon. Auntie? Well, she's quite an old friend of his. Isn't she, Marlon? Oh, yeah. Well, no, no, not really. I don't know. I'm just uh, very interested in your project, Mrs. Weatherall. I've got some pictures here of a house similar to yours. I, I thought you might be interested to see how they've been done. Oh, yes. Very nice. But not as nice as Patricia's little designs. Not nearly so much fun. <laughs> you know Patricia, of course. Uh, no, actually, I, d I don't. <laughs> you don't? She came to the home where I live and we pretended that she was my granddaughter so that I could have a nice day out. But now we're great friends. And I'd like the house to look exactly the way she's imagined it. I see. Well, of course. Marlon. I think you're being so mean. No, you want me to be mean to Katie. Katie would be glad afterwards. I know she would. How do you know? Because I know better than you do and I've known her a lot longer than you have. I bet she don't mean it. I bet she's dying to hear from Andy. She's on her own and she's having a baby. She loves Andy. She used to. She doesn't now. She's only saying that. And besides, Andy's a mate as well as she is. And he's so miserable. Honestly, Lucy, if you'd have seen him this morning. Oh, pathetic was he. He twists you round his little finger. Just like his pathetic brother. As bad as each other. Listen, I told Katie I'm not telling anyone where she is. So I'm not going to. And that's that. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hey, Lou. I've had a breakthrough. Oh, yeah? I think I saw a flash of the green-eyed monster earlier. What, from Mac? Yeah. Over Brian. Brian? Well, it must be love. I mean, Brian's not anything to get upset about, is he? That's not the point. The point is, it gives me a little card to play in the future if I should ever need it. You won't need it. Seems to me it's completely smitten. You think so? Hook, line and sinker. You've been in my bag. Well, if you won't give it to him, I'll have to what? Those are my things. How dare you? And that's my letter. Sorry, Lucy. It's a private letter to me. I'll tell Katie. So I'll tell her. I'll tell her myself. I can now. I've got her address. Oh, you're such a... She will. She'll thank me for this. I'm not going to stand by and watch Andy fall apart and both of them ruin their lives because of you. Titch. But I promised. Don't worry. You can keep your promise. It's me that's broken it for you. Donna! Give me my letter! Donna! Well, thank you for waiting so patiently. Well then, Zoe, we've uh, looked at all the information we've been given and weighed up very carefully what you've told us. But in the light of the consultant's report, I'm afraid your appeal has been unsuccessful. We think it best that uh, you stay in hospital for the rest of your section, or for as long as your health requires it. No. It's all right, Zoe. Don't panic. We'll get through this. I promise you we will. Zoe. Zoe! Zoe, wait! Zoe, stop! Ashley! <laughs> 
here now. I think it would be best if you left. <gasps> no! No, I can't. Please, we know what we're doing. We need to calm her down and get her in the ward. Give her some medication. Don't go. I can't. Please, you're only making it more difficult for her. She'll never accept what's happened while you're here. Better go. You can come back tomorrow. Please don't leave me here. Please. Now go, please. I'm sorry if I, I put you in a bit of a difficult spot today with your old lady, her thinking I was some kind of uh, no. usurper. No, don't. The, the whole thing was embarrassing. It's my fault. I shouldn't have been getting involved in yours and Trisha's stuff. I, I just, just got a bit carried away. Oh, no, it's OK. Uh, perhaps I should say, um, get things straight, I don't want to mess anything up. Well, I'm sure I couldn't anyway. Um, I just want to be... Uh, Friends? Yes. Friends. <laughs> How'd you get on? Did you go and see him? Yep. Complete waste of time. Wouldn't let me write to her. Wouldn't pass a message on for me. Wouldn't even tell me how she were. Then it's a good job I've decided to give you her address. You've decided? I've had it all along, but Kate made me promise not to give it to you. You've got her address. She'll kill me, but it's worth it. You deserve it. You didn't want to tell him? Well, not at first. I mean, a promise is a promise, but I was always going to in the end. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. You just didn't give me a chance. Thanks, Lucy. You two-faced little cow. <laughs> 